Greetings to my viewer. Again, this is online assignment tutor. Now we have um, arrived again. I welcome, I welcome every one of you, the viewers, and my subscriber. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you can kindly hit the bell button below the video and uh, click all. Then you subscribe to, uh, to the channel so that when I drop a new video, you will always be the first person to be alerted. Now, let's look at some calculations in um, laws of indices. Uh, the last time we talked about laws of indices, we talked about, we look at some fundamental laws of indices. And there's a, there is a, um, a particular one which I forgot to mention. It's a particular law. You know, we want to, what we are looking at today is just um, calculations. Calculations in laws of indices. I've, what we are looking at uh, just before we look at the calculation let's uh, actually there's one I I forgot to mention the other time when we talk about the loss of um, indices there's a particular one, particular one so if you have this is one I'm talking about if you have a raised to power m over n a raised to power m over n the meaning of this it means it's equals to the nth root the nth root of a then everything raised to power what m the n please note it you can write it down the nth root of a all everything raised to power what? Raised to power m. So if you have, for example, you have 49 raised to power 3 over 2. 49 raised to power 2, 3 over 2. It is equals to the second root, which is actually the same thing as square root of 49. Everything raised to power what, three. That is the meaning. So what you have the second root of forty nine is seven because seven times seven give you forty nine. So the second root of seven to forty nine. When you say second root, it it is simply a square root. So you have seven. After finding this, everything raised to power what, three. Three. So you have seven times seven times seven. So you can calculate on your calculator. I think by time calculator that it will give you um three four three. I think so. Use your calculator three four three. So that is the what I forgot the last time to mention. So today we want to look at some some exponential equation, some fundamental exponential equation which can can come across in your exam. So let's look at number one, two raised to power. Okay, let's do this part. 2x plus 3 equals to 1 over 8. So look at this situation. 2 raised to power 2x plus 3 equals to 1 over 8. So how should we solve that? We want to find the value of x. We want to find the value of x. So the way you solve this is first of all, you need to simplify this. This 1 over 8. This one over eight to look like this to, to look like two raised to power two s plus three because at the end of the day you will be able so that you will be able to equate them. What's the reason by equating them is that so that the base which is two and the base which is two here which is actually can be the same with, which will be the same with the right hand side can be cut out. So how should we solve that? So let's go. So you have. 2 raised to the power 2x plus 3 equals to 
1 over 8 is same thing as 2 raised power 3 because 2 in 3, in 2 in 3 place will give you 8 so we have 2 raised power 3 2 raised power what? 3 so that is same thing as you remember one of our law that say inverse 1 over 2 over 3 it will be the same thing as 2 raised power minus 3 the inverse law so 2 2 is here 2 is here so this cut so therefore what you what you have you have 2x plus 3 equals to minus 3 so you collect like things you move it on to the other side so you have 2x equals to minus 3 when plus 3 goes to the other side it will come minus what 3 so therefore your answer will be what so we have 2s so we have 2s equals to minus 6 minus 3 minus 3 that is what minus was 6 therefore you divide both sides by 2 divide that by 2 you'll be left with x here so x equals to minus 6 over 2 that is what minus 3 so our answer is what minus 3 hope you understood it so let's look at another question let's look at another question let's say for example we have let's say we have um, 5 raised to power 3 x equals to we have equals to 125 minus s minus 1 so we have 1 to 125 raised power minus s minus 1 so how should we solve this so the first thing you are going to do is to change this one to look like 5 raised power something this 125 here will become yeah, so we have 5 raised power 3x equals to this 125 as 5 raised power what 5 raised power 3 5 in 3 places that is 125 so you have minus x minus 1 the bracket so let us continue from there so you have 5 raised to the power 3x equals to 5 is power 3 bracket minus x minus 1 so let's open the bracket up so you have this one we cut so what you have was you have 3x equals to 3 times minus x that is minus 3x you see it now 3 times minus 1 that is minus 3 so let's collect like terms where minus 3 has moved to this side become what 3x plus 3x equals to what minus 3 so 3x plus 3 that is 6x so we have 6x equals to what minus 3 so we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 6 so divide both sides by 6 divide by 6 so this cancel so this one will come x equals to minus 3 over 6 that is what minus half because 3 year 1 3 year 2 so answer is what minus half so let's look at another question let's look at another question let's look at this question solve 3 raised to power minus 4m minus 2 equals to 27 raised to the power minus m over okay let's 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 write it well i didn't write it well so let's look at this 3 raised to the power minus 4m minus 4m minus 2 equals to 27 raised to the power minus Sorry for that, please. 
minus m over 3 raised to the power minus 2 m this plus 1 so this situation we are having we are asked to solve this is what you are asked to solve what they are asking for is the value of m as for the values of m so we are going to look at the situation the first we're going to do is to cross multiply you multiply this by to this and multiply by this so what are you going to have so we're going to have 3 raised to the power minus 4 m 3 raised to the power minus 4 m minus 2 so we are going to have 3 raised to the power minus 4 m minus 2 times 3 raised to the power minus m equals to 27 minus m plus 1 you see it now you see it so this is multiplication so what did i say about multiplication when this is the same base so it's going to do what it's going to add up this power we had so you have 3 raised to the power minus 4m minus 2 see now minus 2 plus minus m because to you can change this one to also an index format 3 raised to the power 3 will give you 27 3 in 3 places so 3 raised to the power 3 minus m plus 1 good so if we open this this bracket up you will have 3 raised to the power minus 4m sorry So let's clean that so that we can have space to complete the question, the answer. So this one will come. This one will come. Theory. My is per minus four m. Then you have what? Minus two. Plus times minus. That is minus m. Equals to three raised to the power minus m 3 times minus m that is minus 3m 3, 3 times 1 that is plus 3 so we can wipe off this place we can wipe off this place so the constitution we can collect like things minus 4m minus 4m that is 3 raised to the power minus 5m minus 2 equals to 3 raised to the power minus 3m plus 3 do you see that so you can see the situation now we have 3 here we have 3 here so we have to equate you cancel this cancel this so what you will have left is going to be going to be minus sorry so minus 5m minus 2 equals to minus 3m plus what plus 3 so what we will do next is to collect what like terms this is collect like terms so this place you are going to have minus 5m minus 5m so when minus 3 and come to this side become what plus 3m there is one minus 2 good that will come 3 plus 2 so when you are adding an algebra this is an algebra so this m and m so you you put the m outside Put the m outside so you say minus 5 plus 3 that is minus 2 that's minus 2m 
so you got to equals to what five so in this type of work your final answer now is now you divide both side by two so it will become divide what is minus two m over equals to five so if i start by minus two the answer become m minus two m over minus two equals to five over minus two so at the end of it all your answer this minus cancel minus so your m two cancel two so your m becomes minus five over two so that is the um question how to solve question on the um, indices and um, i want you to still watch out for more videos on calculations on the subject i there are some other complex one which in the course of this video in the in the course of this um uh, loss of indices we are going to look at we are going to look at uh, some deep questions some some questions that are very very uh, technical in this in this um, indices so that's why i'm urging you to share this video and to let people subscribe to this channel because this is a uh, educational ch channel where many children who are in secondary school can learn they can do better in their in their in their exam score more grades score more sc uh, score um, have the highest uh, score have good grades so to say and uh, also do well in their endeavors so share this video subscribe to my channels and we will meet again I will drop. Don't forget, I'm going to drop video again on 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 the question on loss of indices. The one we see here, they are not. Um, they are simple. They are not. They are just fundamental. There are other deep ones that I'm still going to drop. So have a wonderful day and um, remain blessed. Thank you.